I wanted to give you a little video here to show you how to do this prediction interval for this problem. Uh, there's two variations of this problem. One is this Moon Dollars Coffee problem, and the other one is about Mean Corporation. If you look and see what the problem states, it's this: they're trying to predict the annual income for a store based on the population of the city. So population is our X, and annual income is our Y. We think that annual income depends upon the population of the city. So we're going to go put this into SPSS. And probably the best way to get it into SPSS is not through the download the data link. If you come over here and highlight these cells right here and highlight the data and then you press Control C, you can copy that and then we'll go paste it into SPSS. So I'm going to come over here to SPSS, I'll hit Control D and I paste the data in. So again, this column is the population, this column is the sales from those stores. So if you look at the problem, let's go down and see what it says. It says there is a uh, calculate the point prediction for the value x equals 2,500. Now, ordinarily, what you would do here is get the equation for the best fit line and then plug in x of 2,500. Uh, that's possible to do, but I'm going to show you how SPSS can do this much faster. And in fact, as part of that, I'm going to get part b, which is 95% prediction interval for the value of 2,500. All right, so let's go back to SPSS. And we're going to put in whatever your number is, mine's 2,500. We'll put that as a uh, population of the city. We're going to try to predict the income for a store. So you click on Analyze, Regression, Linear. <clears throat> and so remember that var01 is my independent. That is my x. x is independent. And y is my dependent. Um, as we're in here, one of the things we're commonly going to click, we don't need it for here right now, but... Um, I do want to show you that you can get a confidence interval for your regression coefficient. We typically want that. We also typically want the normal probability plot. Again, we don't need that for this problem, uh, but I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to click Save, and this is where we get the data that we need to get this prediction interval. So this option right here, notice this is predicted values. I want an unstandardized predicted value. And what it's going to do is give me y hat, my predicted y for my regression equation. And we can go ahead and click residuals, and it will give us the residual, the difference between the actual and the y hat. And then the one we need to get the prediction interval is right here. We'll click on individual, and confidence interval 95% is what we wanted. We'll press continue, and then we press OK. And as usual, SPSS gives me output here. And in this case, I actually don't need this output. Uh, there's a lot of great information in here, of course, but uh, I do not need that. What happens is back over here in your data, in your spreadsheet, it populates uh, for the value of 2,500, the predicted amount. So it's this is just like if you got the regression equation and plugged in 2,500, it would be 1,853. So um, it wanted a whole number. So that is 1,853. So let's go back over here to uh, the homework and we'll put in 1,853. And now the 95% prediction interval for that value of 2,500 is the other thing that we requested here. And you see that number, there's the lower limit and there's the upper limit. And so we'll put a whole number as well. So that's 534 and this one will be 3,173. All right, so we'll go back over here and put in uh, 534 and 3,173. And that is how you get the prediction interval uh, for this problem or the other one that's much like it. So let me know if you have any questions and I hope this helps.